Hassan Reddick, just let it be known, he will be ready week one. And for you guys worried, I wouldn't worry at all about Nolan Smith. Meanwhile, Derek Barnett has gotten permission to seek a trade, and I would trade him for a bag of Doritos. Kick thing back here and hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So Hassan Reddick in his press conference today, let it be known that he should be ready to go week one and he plans on amping up things really, really soon. And I've seen a lot of people worried about Nolan Smith and his shoulder and the fact that he's not practicing this week. I am going to tell you why you should not worry at all. And perhaps maybe the greatest news I have heard in the last 50 years years is Derek Barnett is seeking a trade and the Eagles have granted him permission to go find somebody who wants him. Now, before we get into all of it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled Paul's Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for all the support you give to me. It really, really means a lot. It really, really does. Now, let's talk about the birds, right? There's a lot of stuff going on. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of stuff going on tonight and into tomorrow. I expect tomorrow to be really busy. Um, and just a reminder, Philly Shakedown Podcast will have a special episode uh, tomorrow right at the deadline of the 53-man roster, so we could go over that live. I took a few hours off work, so look for that tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. Now, first thing we got to talk about is Derek Barnett, right? Now, as many of you guys know, I have not been the biggest fan of Derek Barnett. Uh, my most disliked video ever was my, was my draft reaction to Derek Barnett being drafted. I wasn't happy when we drafted him. And I thought he had a good rookie year. He, he made a great play in the Super Bowl. Got to give it to the guy. But uh, you can't rest your laurels for your whole career on that one fumble recovery. You know, and he hasn't done anything since. Uh, now, apparently, Derek Barnett wants out. He wants out of Philly because he knows that he is buried on his depth chart and he is not going to get a lot of playing time. Uh, Ari Marioff, whatever, he says, The Pound Eagles, not hashtag Eagles, have granted permission to defensive end Derek Barnett to seek a trade partner per Jay Fowler at Jay Fowler ESPN. The former first-round pick is stuck behind a, a logjam of pass rushers. Now, Drew Rosenhaus is his agent, and he is on it. He is going to find and seek a trade for Derek Barnett. This is one of the two guys that we have talked about over the last few days as being most likely to be moved. I say that the Derek Barnett possibility of him getting traded has gone from 50% up to about 85 to 90%. You don't see, want to seek a trade and then uh, do that with the Eagles, and the Eagles give you permission, and you don't end up getting traded. He's gone. He's gone. The big question about Derek Barnett is going to be this. What? What can the Eagles get in return for him? That's the biggest question of them all. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can get much. I don't think you could get, like, a fourth-round pick. Uh, you definitely can't get anything under a fourth-round pick. I don't even think you could get that. Probably, maybe, what I'm guessing is, maybe you could get like a 20, 27 fifth round pick. Maybe 20, all right, maybe 2024. 20, like maybe a 2024, 2025 20, fifth round pick or something like that. Maybe you can put it and make it so there's an incentive to it. I don't know. But you're not going to get much for Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett has more penalties than he does sacks. That's just the reality. And I know I always get people, well, dude, you know, Derek Barnett, don't disrespect him. Dude, put some respect on his name. What the hell with that? He stinks. I ain't putting no respect on his name. No. He did a he had a great rookie season. We gave him credit. He had a football, he had a fumble recovery in the Super Bowl. You give him credit. But that that doesn't mean that the rest of his career he can go out and absolutely do nothing and just get a pass. He doesn't get a pass. He gets a pass of one year. That that time has gone. 
You've got to move this guy, and you've got to move him as soon as possible. Get rid of him. He stinks. 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 Stink. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Stinks. Get rid of him. So, I hope they could get rid of him. I would trade him for a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, maybe even just five single chips. You know, maybe one of those like little ones that they put in the kids lunches that keep getting smaller every year. From when I went to school to now, it's always less and less. It's half air. The hell with that. But get rid of them. Get rid of them. You have enough pass rushers on this team. You don't need Derek Barnett. You don't need his penalties. You don't need the personal fouls. Because I know what's coming with Derek Barnett. It's going to be a fourth quarter of a game. It's going to be a close game against, let's say, Kansas City or something. And it's going to be the Eagles are down three or down one, something like that. And they're going to get a chance to get the ball back. And Derek Barnett's going to commit a foul on a big third down stop that's going to give the team a first down. And then they're going to be able to run the clock out. Something like that will happen with him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. See you later. Sayonara. Bye-bye. Later. Get rid of him. I didn't want to bring him back when we resigned him. I, I, I think it was a waste. And, uh, hey, thank you for the fumble recovery. Thank you for what you did, Super Bowl. But that's it. It wasn't good enough. You, you have to do more than just recover a fumble. So it's time for Derek Barnett to go. Now, I also want to talk about Nolan Smith for a second because I've seen a lot of things on Twitter. A lot of people are worried about Nolan Smith. Nolan Smith isn't practicing. Nolan Smith isn't practicing. Why isn't Nolan Smith practicing? There's no need to practice Nolan Smith right now. If Nolan Smith, his, if his shoulder is, let's say, let's say he's 98% better and he's 98%, you still sit him this week. This week is not a, a week of a football game. If he's not practicing next week, then I'll, I'll start to worry. But right now, this is a week where if you have guys with any, any injuries whatsoever, you rest them. You give them rest. You get those guys healthy. Next week is a practice week of a football game, okay? So that, that's the week he's got to practice. This is the week that you want him to just get healthy. So if he's, he could be 98%. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't play him. I wouldn't practice him either. I'd let him rest. You know, uh, same thing with Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick has been limited. He's doing drills and he's out there on the field, but he's not doing some things. And he's going to start ramping it up. I expect the same with Nolan Smith. I would not worry this week about Nolan Smith. Now, if we get, if we get to like Tuesday next week and Nolan Smith still hasn't practiced, then you could say, "Yo, Phil, you a little worried now?" And I'll say, "Yeah, now I'm getting to be under. Now I'm getting to worry about it. Right now, this week with no football, nah, I, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about it one iota. I think the Eagles are going to be fine. I think Nolan Smith is going to be fine. Uh, and as far as Hassan Reddick, uh, Hassan Reddick is a beast. Okay, Hassan Reddick to me is probably the most underrated defensive player in the National Football League. I've never seen a guy do what he did last year, especially within the playoffs, where I thought he was dominating in the divisional round of the playoffs and then the NFC Championship round. And to me, for a guy that has been as dominating as him, to be act to be treated like ah, he's just some other player is absolutely crazy. And Hassan Reddick, he had thumb surgery. We all know that. But he says that he will be available to go next week. He thinks he'll be fine. He'll be ready. So I, I wouldn't worry about uh, Hassan Reddick either. These guys will all be ready to go. They will all be healthy. The thing that, that to me, that is more interesting and more concerning than anything else is, is how this 53 Montmay roster is going to wind up being. Because I, I've heard some... So some rumors that some people think that Eli Ricks isn't a lock to make this team. I don't understand how that could possibly be. And then the situation at punter, to me, is way more scary of a situation than anything else going on. Uh, who's the punter? Uh, I, don't, I don't understand how you can go with Aaron Sippos. So I would like to see them upgrade the punter. And then I want to see what they do with Devin Allen. Devin Allen, to me, is still a guy that I think you got to try to find a way to keep him on this team. If, if you can, and maybe trading a Derek Barnett 
you know, maybe that will open up a position for, uh, you know, a Devin Allen, a Mecky Gardner, one of those guys. Because to me, those are the two guys that are, are really on the chopping block that need to make this team. I don't believe they'll make it through waivers. I believe both of them will get picked up off of waivers. I just do. So I, I want to find a way to keep those guys. And if trading Derek Barnett is one of those ways, then I would do it. You know, I think, like I said, I think Derek Barnett and I think Greg Ward Jr. are the two most likely guys that I think are going to get moved uh, before the, day, the deadline tomorrow. I really do. And remember, last year, it was, it was the day of the deadline that the Eagles, I believe that morning, that they got C.J. Gardner-Johnson and they cut Anthony Harris. I got to think Howie Roseman is getting ready to do something like that again. Just my thoughts. I should talk to you guys later on today. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. So I see that Mark Holmes out there is having major, major meltdowns. I see that, obviously, everything I've been saying about him this year is true. He will not make it through this year. His boy Dak is on the hot seat. His boy Dak is not happy about them getting Trey Lance. And Mark Holmes is not going to make it through this year. He is going to have some of the biggest, most epic meltdowns in the history of YouTube. That's guaranteed. Denzel Washington out.